Boker Tov. Good morning. We continue with that three-minute daily dose of Torah, looking at the uh, the discussion of the Mishnah, which somehow critiques a person who, while praying, says that God, you're 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 a merciful to the bird's nest, and we silence this person because we're going to one opinion because you make God's traits about mercy when they're only about decrees. And Rashi says it's about. Um, uh, that's because God simply gives you mitzvot for the sake of you doing mitzvot, and not and not specifically out of the per, out of the, the the impetus of mercy. Even though there might be mercy implicit in it, right? But it's not. That's not. You you're, you are misrepresenting the purpose of mitzvot. Says the Rambam. Um, talking about. Uh, hang on a second. Yeah, he's talking about the, about, the, the, about how we shech. Because we, we have a specific way in which we slaughter animals, and that is about not to torment, he said. We're not to, not to torment the animals by cutting their throat in a clumsy manner or by cutting off a limb of a living animal, for example, right? And then he says, and therefore God also forbade um, slaughtering a mother and child together. Because, you know, the uh, the um, the pain of the animal is great when they see their child slaughtered in front of them. You're causing anguish to an animal, and the Torah is is, is the reason the Torah prohibits this. So you shouldn't cause the anguish to the mother in a, as a uh, in a, you know, this failure to to, to be ca- to be conscious of it. Doesn't matter. There's no distinction. God doesn't care only about humans that have pain. He cares about animals too. You know, animals, okay, they don't have intelligence, but they do have emotions, he says. They have some instinctive, instinctive emotions, right? It's some other thing, and that we have to be, and that's, we have to be worried about. And then he says, that's why with the mitzvah of Shiloh HaKain. I get that. The eggs of which the bird sits and the young that are in need of their mother and are generally unfit for food. And when the mother is sent away, she does not see the taking of her young and does not feel any pain. Okay, so that's the issue. The issue is about not causing the mother pain. Wow. So the Rambam, what does he do with this? So he says, when the Talmud blames someone who, is set, who, who dive in this way, that mercy extends to the young birds, is the expression of, of the one of the two opinions mentioned by us. Namely, the priest of the law has no other reason but divine will, and we follow the other option. So the Rambam says, the Mishnah, which, which tells you you silence the person, is only according to the one opinion, who says that, um, that, that, that laws don't have don't have don't express anything about God's qualities and values and virtues. Laws are God's rules, and that's what they're all about, start to finish. But the Rambam says the other opinion says absolutely not. Right? God's uh, traits are um, are uh, you know are, are there to be learned from and to and applied. And it's about God's mercies, and so um, we don't follow that. Now, again, maybe he'll say, but you still shouldn't dive in that because you're going to create jealousy. That's the other opinion. Uh, but but in essence, it's, it, there's a core disagreement, and the Rambam says we side, I side with the one who says this is absolutely about God's mercies, and we are meant to learn from that and, and apply that in all the things that we do. Tomorrow we conclude this looking at an important Ramban to bring a close to this topic together. Have a great day.